Hey Gems, it's Cindy Royalty and welcome back to my channel. So if you're watching this, you've made it to day 4 of 12 days of Cindy Royal, where I put out a video for the first 12 days of December in celebration of Christmas. And that comes away with giveaway gifts, so I hope you guys are watching my live tonight to see who the next winner is. But today I'm just going to be doing my hair. I know y'all probably think it's already done, but it's not. But this beautiful curly hair is from Supernova. All the information on this hair will be in the description box down below. And I'm just going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me kind of doing this hair. Making sure it kind of looks the way I want it to. Because it's cute right now but I need it to be a little more tamed and I might, I might shape it. I might because it's a little long for me. So I might have to, you know, do something with it. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So as y'all can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about basically my love life as an influencer and I don't know. I'm just really excited to talk about this topic because I guess I've wanted to talk about it for a long time, but um, I mean, I guess I was just shy to talk about it or I was just like, you know, not really embarrassed, but it's just like, you know, life, man. It's like, anyway, so I guess this is kind of like a follow up to like, why am I still single? Cindy, why are you? But, um, basically, it's really hard out here to, like, be pursuing relationships while, you know, being an influencer. Because, like, all the people that try to talk to me, like, it seems like all the people that try to talk to me whenever I finally tell them, oh, you know, I do YouTube, or they get my Instagram, or they get my Twitter and they follow me on social media and they see I have like um, a little more followers than the average person. They're like, oh wait, like so what do you, like what do you do? And I'm like, oh I do videos. And they're like, oh, every single time, every single time, it never fails. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. Like. Okay, you should. And it's not to say that I don't want anyone to start a channel or anything. I always like say, like when people meet me, I always say, yeah, you know, if you want to start a channel, go ahead and do that. Um, I think anyone that really wants to start a channel should. Like I used to have a different opinion about it before, like because a lot of people came out of the woodwork starting channels out of nowhere, and really it was because everyone wanted to make money. If we're if we're being honest, that's really why everyone was trying to start channels. It's because they wanted to make money, but. The reason that I was just kind of like, that I'm kind of apprehensive when a guy tells me, oh, you know, I want to start a channel too. Uh, you would help me, right? You would edit my videos, right? I, I get irritated because it's like, okay, so that's what you like, like that's all they see at that point. It's like me being an influencer and it's either that they get intimidated by it like oh man she has a large following i might not want to fuck with her because she might like tell on my business somewhere or whatever or they try to use it to their advantage like yeah you can definitely help me with my passion project or can you retweet this for me or this picture from me or anything like that and i'm just kind of like mm. like what are, we, what are we doing here what are we doing here then it's just kind of like okay maybe if i didn't tell you I was a YouTuber and I made videos or anything like that. Maybe, just maybe, you would actually see me for the actual me. You would basically decide if you actually wanted to pursue me for other reasons other than the fact that I am a YouTuber. Because sometimes it's just like, it gets annoying having to, you know, deal with the conversation of I have a large, or I have a, a following and you know, I do videos and it's cool sometimes and I include my friends in my videos. It gets tiring having to talk about it when I know the response is going to be, man, you know, I've always wanted to do a channel or anything like that. Or they start talking about, oh, how much money do you make? Not your business, you know? So it's just, I don't know. It just gets a little annoying to me. So that's one part of like being an influencer and like dating and like talking to people. It's like really hard to see who actually is trying to talk to me for the fact that oh you know what cindy's cute she seems like she has a good personality i want to pursue her because of those reasons as opposed to oh she's an influencer she can give me clout because at the end of the day take this clout away and everything i'll still be fine i'll still be living my life i'll be good you know i don't really care about 
being famous or anything like that. I really don't. I really, my, I feel like I've talked about it so many times. My main passion is to help people, to get my word out there. So, cause I know when it does, it helps someone in a way that they, you know, did not have before. So that's my main reason in wanting to do this. But, you know, some people don't see it as that. So whenever I am doing this hair, I like for it to clump up because I want it to look a certain way when it dries. I don't want it to look too poofy like when it was, you know, dry earlier. I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like more curly than like real poofy curly, if that makes any sense. Like I want the curls to be really defined. So I got this like defining curls brush. I think it's a wet brush. I got it at my local beauty supply and I actually use it on my real hair. So pretty dope but other than that it's really hard to be dating or talking to anyone as an influencer because some guys actually get intimidated at the fact that I'm an influencer like they're like like if they see that I have like a lot of followers they'll be like oh you must got to get DMs every day then what are you talking about like I actually don't get DMs at all because everyone thinks I get DMs so no one DMs me but you know do you boo but it is kind of hard to like be like really I don't know to be in public and still do my public things but then like be on a date and then people recognize me it's just like I remember one time like the guy I was with when that happened he was like wow so like you have fans fans I was like first of all now I'm a fan so I'm not like a famous person or whatever but yeah I do have supporters and it's really dope to like run into them in person or whatever because like you know they get so excited or whatever and then like the guy was like huh interesting and like it just I don't know it just had a weird vibe after that moment because everything was cool before but then after you know he saw that a couple people were following me or whatever it's kind of weird especially because maybe it was the fact that like they kind of followed us into the movie maybe that was it, because I know they weren't watching those because they were leaving. So, yeah. <laughs> but I would like for, like, to get to the point where, like, whoever I end up with, like, is, like, so head over heels about me that they won't do anything for me, that they just want to see me happy and stuff like that. I would love for that to be my story. And let me keep it, like, real G, y'all. I really thought that as, you know, I was getting a little more popular, I really thought that that would make me look a little more appealing um not looks wise like not my physical attributes or whatever but oh my god i have a hair on my lip i thought i would get approached more being that i had um a following i thought that it would come easier for me in my love life but honestly it's been so much harder so you know you see you see all these influencers on social media and you see they all have well a lot of them have boyfriends or whatever and so I thought okay you know this should be easier for me to you know find someone that or not find someone let someone find me because I don't want anyone to be like city girl you shouldn't be looking good uh, let the man come for you blah 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 okay anyway now that we got that covered i thought it would have been easier for someone to pursue me being that i did have um you know that kind of platform i thought it would i would be more appealing i would be more visibly seen my personality is already out there so you already know what you're working with but it's like i've been getting bozo after bozo after bozo and it's just like, okay, well, now it's literally in God's hands. Whoever I end up being with, whoever I end up marrying, it's that's just gonna be what it is. Like, that's literally going to be it. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't even know. Like, let's say I would, were to be on, on YouTube. I don't know if I would even put the person that I'm with out there. I really don't know because it's like there are so many ways to go about it like i see some youtubers that put their boyfriend in there but you never see his face like you know what i'm saying like and i don't know personally i kind of like that i kind of like the mystery of not knowing what my favorite youtuber's boyfriend looks like but i know she has a boyfriend i know that she's happy with him because at the end of the day that's only her business to know like who he is that's only her business um so it's kind of cool to like see that side and then i have the you then you have the youtubers that come on with their boyfriend like on their channel and baby i don't know if i could do that one because like 
all those people like i see what people say in the comments about these girls boyfriends and it's just like dang like people be saying wild stuff about me and my friends and we're not even together like that and i'm like man like y'all are really brave like to be doing this like sheesh um then you have the YouTubers that do like the grand reveal of who their boyfriend is and that one I also think is dope. I, I also think that one is dope. And so I went on Instagram live the other day. I'm kind of just waiting, waiting for my hair to air dry but um, I think it looks really cute as it is right now. It's probably gonna dry like this. I was on my Instagram live the other night and I was like basically asking everyone like, you know, if I were to be in a relationship, which I'm not in a relationship, but if I were to be in a relationship, what would you guys want to see? Would you guys want me to keep it to myself for my own sanity? Would you guys want me to, like, you know, have him in there, but you can only hear his voice and stuff like that? You can never see his face? Or would you guys, like, just not want to know if I was in a relationship at all? And a lot of my subscribers were saying, um, like, you know, we would love to see him, but for your own, like, sake, like, Cindy, do what would make you happy. And we feel like what would make you happy would be to just never put him on there because you never know how people can get. Like, you never know. Because I will say, there have been people that have been like, oh, Cindy, you should get with Chindu or oh, Cindy, you should get with Malik. And in that same breath, go and DM them and be like, hey, boo. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I'm not interested in either of them romantically, but... If you're DMing me that I should be with them, why are you still DMing them too? Like, that that's beyond me. So I'm just kind of like, okay, if I have subscribers that would do that with my friends, imagine what they could do with my boyfriend. So, I don't know. If I were to ever be in a relationship, don't know if I would ever do that. Don't know. And I feel like that just has to come with the relationship. I always said that, like, like I know in my old videos I've said I would never put my boyfriend on social media. But I've had a lot of time to reflect on it and being that I am a public figure, that's another thing I have to think about because like let's say I'm out in public with that said person and someone recognizes me and I'm holding hands with this boy, I'm out kissing this boy or whatever. Like what are they going to be like or what are they going to say or what are they going to write about me on social media? Like you know, like I've always, I don't know, I've always been like a little apprehensive so I would always want to beat the person to the punch before they like come out here and like you know start saying things that could get me in some trouble not trouble like i'm cheating or whatever but more so trouble of like oh cindy's dating this person we didn't know the whole time and here he is and here's his picture and da, 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 da. like i've always been scared for something like that to happen especially like burning into someone while i'm on a date like that that scares me it really does honestly but like literally i'm gonna tell y'all right now this single thing is tired and look i know it's in god's hands I'm not trying to be single after this year. I'm really not. I'm not been single for like a minute now, like 60 seconds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been single for a while and I just, I, I know myself already. I, I'm very comfortable with who Cindy is. I have gone through the journey of looking for myself and finding myself and being ready to know who I deserve and stuff like that. And I'm really tired of being in that whole phase because especially because i know when the time is right everything will come the way it's supposed to come but it it can come and me still be tired i can still be tired of being single and then it still come on my own time i can still voice that i'm tired of it like god i'm tired like i'm not rushing you or anything but your girl is tired i'm tired i'm trying to work on putting my heart out there but like safely because I think I've been a little stupid in the past when it comes to being in relationships or, um, you know, stuff like that. Because I think what I tend to do is I see the good in people if I really see a future with them. And I start to really, I, I start to believe in their potential rather than what they're actually showing me. And that has been proven to really bite me in the butt. I really don't know what... The future has in store for me in terms of my romantic, my love life. I don't know. But I'm really hoping it's only good things because, you girl, I'm a catch, man. Like, if I, like, literally look at, like, all, like, like, if someone were to be like, Cindy, what do you bring to the table in terms of relationship? I would literally be like, yo, I would date myself. And I'm not even about to give y'all my whole little portfolio right now because I, I, I know my worth and I add tax, you know, because that's, 
Shit, I should make a shirt, man. No, you're worth an ad tax. Yes, that part. So I just, I know what I'm worth and it will be cool. <laughs> it would be cool if, you know, someone else would know my worth too, you know? In the sappiest of ways. I'm a very, I'm a hopeless romantic. I don't know if anyone knows, but I am a hopeless romantic. And if I were to be loved the same way that I love people, it would be so dope. Because I'm a hard lover. I'm a hard lover. So, you know, your girl's still going to be single until, until God brings her a knight in shining armor, you know? It's just gonna be what it is so um my time is coming though something tells me that god has a beautiful man that will just want to take care of me and be my everything and vice versa for me my knight in shining army the prince charming to my cinderella like I, that that is what is coming the prince charming to my cinderella that's what's on the way and when it happens, y'all will see a new glow. <laughs> I am about to go ahead and get out of here. I just finished my hair and it's pretty, it's good, doing pretty well. But you know, it's time for your girl to go ahead and skedaddle. So go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you liked about it. And subscribe to my channel. And um, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow for day five of 12 Days of Cinderella. And I'll also see you guys tonight on Instagram Live to announce the giveaway winner. So I hope you guys are having a great week and a great 12 Days of Cinderella. I hope you guys are really liking this idea because I, I really am really excited with how this is going and everything like that. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Say both some beautiful gems and I love you. Bye. Hit me up.